Peter Petermann, and as you might have seen from the title, this is the third installation of my PSVR or VR related vlog. The previous two have been more around uh, PSVR stuff in specific. The first one about PSVR and our movies slash porn, the second one about um, almost that. Oh, games to buy when you just bought your first PSVR. I think that one could be an update. Actually, both could be an update, but that's not what I want to talk about now. The thing that I noticed is I didn't really do an introduction of myself uh, or talk about why I'm interested in VR, and I didn't really show my face. And uh, you're not going to see too much of my face in the next few videos either, because well, you're not watching for any of my face, I guess. Uh, anyways, um, the I'm a who am I? I'm, I'm Peter Petermann. I'm a game developer currently living in Karlsruhe, Germany. I am not going to be uh, living here for much longer, but more on that in a different video. And what I do mostly in my work time is work on classic browser games at the moment, um, but I do a lot of game development in my free time as well. Specifically, I enjoy going to game jams. And I've, I've built with a few friends of mine, I've built a VR game before, uh, it's called a Drum. Uh, it was part of the Global Game Jam 2016. Uh, you can look it up at the Global Game Jam site or um, here you should find a video link which is actually about, uh, it's not about, it's just showing someone playing it. Small reaction kind of video. Uh, you, you won't see the VR classes on there because Marty made it this great mask which uh, fits the setting of the game. The game basically, well, it's not really a game, it's an experience. Um, we record sound from the microphone, you're supposed to play a drum, you do that on a bucket or whatever. And uh, going from there, basically, um, we record the sound, we measure the beat, we measure how loud it is, and from there, stuff is happening within the experience. The experience itself, you're sitting um, in front of a fireplace. Uh, the first beat will, uh, will light the fire and then well, the fire will grow depending on what you play um, or specific uh, beat patterns or beat speeds or uh, loudness will actually trigger events in there uh, such as well, there might be dances appearing around you or you might see an aurora borealis or well, maybe, maybe the stars get more who, who, who can really tell I don't, I don't want to go too much into the detail, but you can see there because if you ever get the chance to play it, um, well, you should. Um, you should be a bit surprised by what's happening. No, not because surprise is the greatest part about it, but simply because it's much more enjoy enjoyable if you don't really expect the things that happen. It's not not in the way of shopping video or something where we you. You know, not, not one of those horror game styles, it's really uh, an experience which is supposed to be a bit of a trans experience, <laughs> but let's call it that way. Uh, some people have called it like a drug trip song on VR, but that's not really what it is. Anyway, um, that's a bit about what I've done with VR from the development standpoint. I'm currently working on something else in my free time as well, but it's way too early to speak about that. Um, but when the PSVR came out, I decided to get a PlayStation VR because it's the most affordable VR system to have at home. I didn't own a PlayStation before, I was more of a PC guy, but um, yeah, the setup you need for a PC is quite expensive, and I can see how only hardware enthusiasts have a lot of money. We'll do that while the PSVR is something that uh, a lot more people can afford and it's easier to use. And actually the PSVR is from all the headsets that I've tried and I've tried here, the most comfortable one to wear, which is interesting. I wish the resolution was a bit better, but I guess that's the price you have to pay for well, getting a cheap setup. The, um, when I started there was basically one or two channels that were already doing PSVR stuff. Uh, those channels are much bigger than mine. Mine is currently at, I think, about 40 subscribers, plus minus a few, which is nothing, while 
I think uh, one of the channels I'm going to mention in a moment has uh, almost 6,000 subscribers, which is still a very small YouTube channel, but uh, you can see how that's a completely different dimension than from what I'm doing right now. And um, I think those channels are great, and I'm going to talk a bit more about those and why and which ones you should follow, in my own opinion. But um, I wanted, wanted to actually say why I'm do, still doing this and why I think that my channel is worth subscribing to and looking at. Uh, what you can do is you can ask me any question you want. So far, <laughs> I haven't really put this uh, offer out in, in the video. That's what I'm doing right here. Um, and I'm probably going to do this in every video that follows. But if you have any questions about PlayStation VR, about VR in general, about developing for VR devices, uh, about something that you heard, uh, or about one of the games that you've seen me play, just ask, really. You'll get an answer, I promise. Now, um, let's talk a bit about if you're interested in the PSVR subject on which channels to subscribe to. There is the currently largest one uh, right here. This should be PSVR Frank. Um, this guy from, I believe, the US. He was the first one who did a real PSVR cha um, channel. Uh, he's putting a lot of energy in there. Uh, at some point he did one to two videos each day. I'm not sure if he's still doing that because I, I have stopped uh, subscribing to him. But that's, that's a different note. Um, the thing is that Frank is extremely enthusiastic about VR in general. Personally, I believe sometimes a bit over enthusiastic, which is one of the reasons why I didn't <laughs> unsubscribe. But um, if you can stand this over enthusiasm and if you're interested in getting as much news about VR stuff, and specifically to PlayStation VR as possible, uh, you should subscribe to this channel. Uh, he's really putting a lot of effort in, he's getting better at the, the videos he's making and uh, from what I gathered he's partially sponsored by the companies that make those games so he has quite early access to some of those games which is something I cannot agree. Now, as I said I've unsubscribed that, that's because uh, personally the content he's providing doesn't have that much value for me and I find the way he's presenting is not a way that I enjoy watching. But again that's a very very personal opinion and you should really just 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 watch two or three videos aside for yourself because this guy definitely earns their subscribers and he can definitely provide some value to you. So the second channel that I um, that I watch or that I follow is the one by Mitzons. I believe he's from Germany too. I'm not really sure, but I, I think he said something in his videos. Uh, he's a bit fast when he's talking that part, so I don't know. But uh, he's from a yeah, fighting game background, from what he said in a few of his videos. Um, he's recently started doing PSVR videos as well. Uh, he's actually putting out quite good content, um, uh, what sets his channel apart from, well, most other channels is that he is um, actually looking not only on the Western stores like the EU and the US store, uh, he's also looking at the Asian stores, so he quite often has games that are not available in the Western world yet, like Japanese games or, or Asian games in general. So it's definitely worth uh, subscribing to him. Uh, I'm a bit surprised that even though he mentioned that he is from fighting games and stuff, um, so far everything I've seen lately is about PSVR. So I guess there's a shift in what he's doing. Which, for if you're interested in PSVR, well, it's a good thing, right? So I, I want to wanna call out a search channel. Uh, now, the search channel I want to wanna talk about is I think it's called Dave Station. I might actually have the name wrong. I'm going to check, but um, you will find um, a link here, a video link, I guess. And for all of the three channels, I'm going to put the links down there as well. Uh, 
This station is more of, well, I guess he's just a regular gamer um, who's doing <laughs> drunk reviews of games. Now, he's not blackout drunk, so it's not annoying, but uh, he's drinking a bit and then he's playing the games and talking about the games. And I found the way he is presenting the games quite pleasant, even though you can see from the images, from the, from the footage he has, He's using the in-game recording function of the PlayStation, which you can see in my first PSVR videos as well. But um, I think we could increase its quality a bit by using a capturing device like everyone else knows by now. So a wise next station worth watching simply because it has a bit of a different perspective on the games than um, its own or sort of, uh, friend. Obviously, I suggest you subscribe to all three of those, or if you watch a few videos, decide if you subscribe to those. Uh, if you look in my channel, if you look around uh, on the playlists that I have and, and all that stuff, uh, you might find that you enjoy those videos too. Uh, keep in mind that this is not the end of what I'm doing. I, I, I plan to do a lot of the QA videos, that's why I'm asking for your questions. Really, guys, I need your questions, please. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I would appreciate if you could like and subscribe for me as well, and obviously share. Uh, so, I hope this gave you an idea on what I do, and gave you a bit of information on what else you can follow, if you're interested in PlayStation VR. Um, have a nice day, and see you soon.